Cause I'm what you wanted, you're what I need So let's meet in between We're gonna be the greatest love story this town has ever seen We're gonna be the greatest love story this world has ever seen So baby say yes to me Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Glad to have you here and I'm glad to be here. So today, we're gonna be shooting brake rotors. So I have all these brake rotors that I got from a local auto store. Thanks, Gary. Check this out. We have some car ones. We got getting bigger and we got the big three quarter ton truck rotors in the back. So, will they stop a bullet? Probably. They're huge. They're thick. They're obviously made to last a long time with some tough metal. But I've got some tough guns with some tough bullets. So in classic Demolition Ranch style, we're gonna start small and work our way up because I think even one plate will stop quite a few bullets. But I have some fancier bullets and we'll see if they'll stop. But first, this video is sponsored by War Dragons and I wanna give you a little info about War Dragons. War Dragons is a mobile real-time strategy game where players can directly control dragons to attack enemy bases. What I like about it is you get to actually be in the game playing and destroying the bases yourself. This is my base, this is where I breed dragons here. So you can see you can breed them together to make new dragons. Here are some of the dragons I currently have. They all have different skills, different attacks, different specials. It's pretty cool and there are a bunch of them. Here's my base, over here we collect food over here we have wood and you collect all these things and use them to upgrade your base and build stronger defenses like this big cannon tower here players can join guilds to launch co-op attacks and co-op defenses here's my team the demo ranchers uh currently um there's no one else in it besides me so if you're interested demo ranchers hit me up and join me in battle a new feature is launched in the game called Atlas. Atlas is a new fully 3D persistent world where players can forge alliances with other teams and conquer land from those they deem enemies. Players will work with their teammates to build up dragon-led armies to fight for land and secure lucrative rewards while bolstering strongholds to strengthen their positions. You can also bond dragon riders to your dragon which will provide you with a number of buffs helping you to secure victory within Atlas. Download War Dragons for free using the link below in my description. I just had a thought, since this video is sponsored by War Dragons, why don't we test two things. How about we spray a bunch of brake cleaner on the rotors and then we'll see if when they get hit by bullets they light on fire. Yeah. We have a 22 long rifle out of this Ruger Mark 1 up first. Let's go ahead and shoot a few. So you can see our 22 long rifles striking right on there. Did I hit these? Is this where they fill out? Yeah, one went past and hit that one behind it. That one's a little bigger than these. But hitting the rotors, not even acting like it's gonna go through. Let's step it up. What do you say we skip nine millimeter, we skip 40 cal, and we go straight to 45 ACP in this FNX 45 tactical with a suppressor. <laughs> oh man, she's a beaut, isn't she? Look at this thing. Okay. See what we can do here. Predictions, I predict, uh, did not go through. Let's see, here's our front plate. And there's our hit from the 45. Barely a dent on there. We're gonna have to go bigger, folks. 45 ACP has a lot of power, but it's mostly because it's a really heavy bullet. It's not particularly fast in comparison to other rounds. How about a really, 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 really fast round? It's tiny but it's fast, this is a 22 Hornet. Plus we got the long-barreled Raging Hornet. <laughs> Look at that thing. I don't think it's gonna go through it, but I just wanted to see what a small caliber, super fast bullet would do to these. So I hit on this part, which is I guess a lot thinner than this, and it did go right through. Let's go ahead and shoot it again. It did not go through the second one. We'll shoot it again and I'll hit the uh, actual rotor part. We have a solid hit on the thick part and it did not go through, but it did 
cut a lot deeper than the other rounds, including the 45 ACP. So that'll show you how much that speed makes a difference. We're not having any luck with pistol rounds, so let's just go ahead and step it up to the big daddy, the 44 Magnum. I think it's gonna stop. I think it won't even go through our first plate. It hits hard. There's our 44 Magnum. Barely a dent. So I think it's completely safe to say that if someone is shooting at you with a pistol, you can protect yourself by hanging brake rotors on you. It would work as body armor, but I have rifles. We're gonna scoot back a little bit and try something a little more powerful. How about an Air 15? This is one of my competition rifles. I haven't actually put it on the channel in a while. Such a pretty gun though, am I right? So Air 15s, shoot, can you see it? 5.56. Five, Small bullet, but it's going super fast. Way faster even than the 22 Hornet. Let's see what it does to some brake rotors. Let's shoot one more just for good measure. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to do it again because both of those went through the inside. What's interesting though, the last one, one of these was the 22 Hornet. When it went through, it stopped on this one. This one went through and then busted through that one as well. It did stop on the third one though. But we know that this is not as strong as the outside rim. I think this one's been shot enough. We're just gonna go ahead and shoot at this one. So I'm gonna try again to hit it on the outside rim. This is interesting. So I aimed one at the left side, one at the right side. The left side made a huge hole, but not all the way through. It looks like it hit right on one of those beams. The one on the right was close enough to the center that it missed the back side of the rotor. So it only went through one side instead of going through both. And it did make it through, but had no power. When it came through, it just hit that, and there's not a, not a scratch on it. Now let's just go ahead and step it up to a very powerful rifle. This is the Armalite AR30A1, chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum. I haven't had this gun out in a long time. It's a good shooter, and the 338 Lapua is an awesome caliber. So in comparison, there's your 556, and this is your 338 Lapua Magnum. It's just a little bit bigger. Let's see what it does against the old brake rotor. So it was a little off, it missed the first two, hit the corner of this one, and exploded through both sides of that. And then did no more damage. I think we need more of a direct hit. I believe I know where to aim to make this thing go just where I want it to, which is over on the right side of that brake caliper. I think we got a hit. So that bullet came in there, it exited there, and then this was right behind it, did no damage. A little dusting, but not even a scratch. So once those bullets are passing through the first caliper, they really don't have any more penetrating force, but I do have one bigger gun. Yeah, your brake caliper body armor is pretty good, but what about when the bad guys start shooting at you with a 50 BMG? We all knew it was coming to this. We got the Barrett M107A1 out. Let's see what we can do to those poor little calipers over there. I got a feeling we're going to mess them up pretty bad. After I shot, the whole rack just kind of fell over. But it's okay because uh, we can see our hit right there. Look at that. The second one it hit. So it did not hit this one. It totally missed the first one. It went straight through. The second one just made a little bitty hole there in the third, Ugh. not gonna go through that. Amazing. You may have noticed these things have not caught on fire yet. The brake cleaner just evaporates within a few seconds. I got uh, some starter fluid, you know, maybe that'll make a difference. It's gonna evaporate super fast too, but yeah, look at it evaporating. I don't think it's gonna matter. Let's just soak it. And just to help set it off, what if they're shooting you with an armor-piercing incendiary tracer round? That would not be good. Uh, let's see if this thing lights. No 
colliding. Finally, some action up in here, jeez. I don't feel like it was right to have a War Dragon sponsored video without a little fire. So I, I lit it with a match. We hit there, we hit there. They went straight through, there's three hits in that one. One stopped there, one kept going there, and one kept going there. <laughs> kept going there, and that one stopped. So we have one still going through, stopped right there. Uh, that went through like five of them. Armor piercing incendiary tracers. Pretty good at destroying calipers. So if you find yourself in your everyday run of the mill home invasion, you can probably put on brake calipers and go to battle because it'll stop most things. If you find yourself in World War III, I don't think I'd push it because someone might have a 50 BMG with some real rounds in it and it's not gonna work. So just, just a little lesson, a little moral of the day. Be sure, if you haven't, check me out on Instagram to go follow me. I am Dr. Demolition Matt, and I'm gonna be in Canada this next week, and I'm gonna be doing some gun stuff in Canada. I didn't know that could even happen, but gun stuff in Canada, be there. There's gonna be pictures and some videos of me and Furious Pete on my Instagram. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. Dang it, every time. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. What about the quad hawk? No, don't move! Don't move! Bobby! I'm a doctor. Ish.